Con nói nó nó biết nó chạy ra cửa nó đứng nó ngó lại cửa. Oh, ok. Come here. DC, in. Ồ, lúc ba nói vậy nó rung nó buồn kìa. She say hey. Nó rung mất chứ rung kìa. It's so crazy. Yeah, she's like trembling. So I am here with my friend Diana. She is an occupational therapist, which low key like I don't know anything about occupational therapy. <laughs> I just like put the order in. I'm like OT, ST, PT. <laughs> That's like the extent that doctors really know, I think. And she has her own little pediatric yeah. occup therapy yeah. office where you have occupational therapy and speech therapy. Yes. <laughs> and she's going to give us a tour and tell us what she does. Okay, okay. let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is our big gym space. Um, Look so how there's... fun this is. I feel like your job is to play with kids. It is. Yeah. And this is our ball pit. Unfortunately, it's empty because of COVID. Mm. Um, so it's too much to clean. Yeah. Um, but some people kind of ask us what we do here. Um, so occupational and speech therapists, we work together to kind of help kids in their occupation, which is play. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're very that. big, yeah, on like helping kiddos filter out their sensory environment and how to get them to engage with us and other peers as well. Mm. And so that's why we get to use all of this fun stuff. So cool. I love that like you're like taking care of the kid's health, yeah. but you're also like doing it in a way where the kid is, you know, enjoying it. Because y'all, Kids do not like going to the doctor. <laughs> as soon as the doctor walks in, a lot of the time, like they'll just cry, like as soon as they see us. But like with you, I feel like as soon as they walk in here, they're like, oh my gosh, yay. Like yeah. this is a fun place to be. And little do they know they're also taking care of the health at the same time. Yep, and we're really big on um, building a relationship with the child. We will never be able to get them to make progress if they don't trust us. <sighs> <laughs> Thank God for you. Because <laughs> I could not. Um, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so what kinds of kids do you usually see? Like, what kinds of kids are you trying to help filter out? Yeah, so our biggest saying here um, to parents is your child is more than a diagnosis. So <laughs> even though, you know, your kiddo either has a diagnosis or not, and there's something that you want to work on that's affecting family life, social life, or school, we help kids um, in all those aspects. So yes, we do treat by diagnoses, but we don't have a set standard protocol for them. Um, Love it. We meet them where they're at to facilitate their strengths and how can we can address their weaknesses. I mean, honestly, <laughs> how beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So it's really fun. Um, we do get to play. And I think if you see one of our sessions, it does look like we are just playing. We're considering the whole body. It's intentional playing. Exactly. It's intentional playing. And at the same time, we are working again on that relationship piece because a kid can come to therapy, you know, three times a week. That's only three hours out of the week. Um, yeah. And so we want to make positive and lasting and meaningful changes. So we get everyone on board. We are heavy on parent education and, and incorporating the whole team so like madeline so, says <laughs> so awesome you even have a rock wall like yeah. for what and we only have this wall here because of covid so we do oh have yeah some, you know space for separation yeah but it does take a whole village and so we don't claim to know it all we work with a lot of pediatricians developmental pediatricians psychologists nutritionists the schools counselors anyone yeah it's um, the whole team it's the whole team so we do love that <laughs> that is so freaking cool. And her play, her place is called Foundations. Pediatric Therapy of Houston. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. This is my first time here. It's so freaking cool. I feel like I'm going to need some of this. Yep. <laughs> I can say we all can benefit from OT. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't mind me if I'm falling off the rock wall over there in just a second. <laughs> I literally could not climb yeah. rock walls. No, you can try it. Go try it. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> you treat kids who have been diagnosed with autism yes. or developmental disorders, ADHD, which yep. I thought was, whoa, cool. What else? Yeah. 
So, and some of our kiddos don't even come with a diagnosis. So parents mm. will say they're struggling at home, having tantrums all the time. Mm -hmm. And so what that's telling me is something is happening in their nervous system that we need to address. Mm. Um, kids are not wired to be bad. There's yeah. No such thing as bad kids. Yeah. Um, just someone that needs a little bit more support. And then also um, with babies, they can also come to OT and speech as well. What we actually just noticed now with COVID and all of us wearing masks, oh. um, a lot of our babies aren't able to recognize our facial expressions. And so they're not oh babbling. God. Yeah, really? I know. They're not babbling and they're not able to feel that connection either with their parents or their caregivers if their parents are masked all the time um, to tell oh. them that this world is safe and okay. And I, you know, we just recently had a baby who parents, I um, recommended to them to get clear masks at home mm -hmm. so the baby can kind of see their mouth movements and their facial expressions. Mm -hmm. And immediately the baby started babbling. And oh, so I have chills yes. on my arms. <laughs> and so that's one way that um, <laughs> OT and speech can also work together to make recommendations for their, um, you know, for babies. Cause they're like, why do babies need to go to you so young? And so it's a way for us to make recommendations for parents to connect as well. Um, so a lot of things that we can work on. <laughs> I love that. I feel like therapy is something that the world is just starting to get used to. Mm -hmm. Like this is part of health, but it's not something that has been like kind of a traditional sure. part of health, you know, that hasn't really been considered, but that's so cool. Yeah. Okay, let's play. <laughs> <laughs> I need some therapy. <laughs> it's on a rock wall before. Are you supposed to go this way? You can go, yeah. So okay. over on that left side is where more of the smaller kiddos go. Oh. So that's why they're a lot closer. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Here we go. You got it. <laughs> You could either go in from the side or at the very uh, oh. top. Yeah, so you can just climb in. Like right now? Uh huh. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. You got it. You got it. <laughs> so, this is what we call praxis coming okay, up with a I'm plan to, to move your body. A lot of coaching. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> that is so cool. So, do the kids call you Mrs. Pam? No, no, just Miss Diana. Uh, Miss Diana. <laughs> um, as you can see what Madeline was doing earlier, um, trying to get from the rock wall into the swing. It is hard. It's hard. It is not easy. Yeah. So we call that praxis. You're able to come up with a plan and then execute that plan um, and move your body in order to do that. So one way we can do that is oh my God. make an obstacle course. Mm. And oh, so that's we, what these are for. Yeah, so we can encourage kids mm. to use the ramp, to get on the climbing bars, jump on the trampoline, and from there, mm. jump into the pillows. Like, that oh. could be a very quick obstacle. Okay, wait. Yeah. Jump into those pillows. I just yeah. want to see how fluffy they are. Oh, okay, they're pretty fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Whatever people ask about things, so I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> This is your moment, okay? Okay, this, our slide is really fast. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. oh, dang, landed on your feet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns. It does. You can spin it with your feet oh, with or your, your hands. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> 